I just wanted to extend my love and support and thanksgiving to all of you who have come here to subscribe to our channel and who are watching our videos and hopefully by you watching our videos for these last days where we're showing a lot of the signs of the times that are going on my purpose is uh, that you guys would learn to know and understand what it means living in these last days that Christ is getting ready to come and as he is getting ready to return to this earth though there's still some things that need to still transpire before that actually happens we have to get more fitted for the kingdom of God and in order for us to become more fitted for the kingdom of God we have to do our Christian duty to take that next step to become more like Christ. We need to obey Christ as he obeyed the Father. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. And if we love and honor and worship and extol the God of heaven and earth, then we need to obey him, we need to love him, we need to show him by our fruits that we are doing as we profess to be as Christians, those that love God, we are keeping his commandments, we are keeping the faith of Jesus, and we are overcoming sin each and every day. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone that loveth him that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. And any time that we do fall, you understand and know that we have to get down, we have to confess to our high priest, our Jesus Christ, to the Father for the things that we have done wrong. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Get back up, fight again, contend daily, and overcome to strive again to meet the next challenge and temptation that Satan may present to you. Submit yourselves therefore to God, Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. When we fall and stumble into sin, or fall into bad character, or having those spots and wrinkles on our garments today, we need to just cry out to God for the strength to overcome and to meet the next test. Because a lot of people still get so discouraged to the point that it seems they're having a hard time meeting the next challenge and the next test. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Please be encouraged, be strengthened, continue to press forward. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. This world is going to get worse and worse and as it gets worse and worse and we prepare for the mark of the beast where they're going to try to force us against our will to worship and honor the pope above god the vatican claims the pope is a god and he is to be worshiped on sunday they say to make war against the pope is to make war against god seeing the pope is god and god is the pope and Sunday laws must be enforced, the Vatican says. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Every time we wake up, get on our knees and pray. Ask for the strength to overcome this day and don't worry about the problems and the burdens of tomorrow and the next day and the next day focus on the day that's at hand and each and every part of the day take the next step take therefore no thought for the morrow for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof 
and you get on that path and you get on that walk and you continually uh, strive to press forward each and every day you're going to become more like Christ you're going to have that next uh, special power to meet the next challenge and again do not be discouraged by Satan because he's trying to cause depression in everybody's lives the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivereth him out of them all he keepeth all his bones not one of them is broken if you look at it this way the closer you get to Christ you're gonna see the more defects in your character and a lot of times those uh, true Christians are going to feel how bad they are and thus Satan will work on that emotion and he will do everything he can while he punches the mind to pieces that oh you're just so bad you need to give up you're never gonna make it fight the good fight of faith lay hold on eternal life whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses so I just want you to realize and understand that as we continue to contend for the faith in this world we need to stand up each and every time we are brought down to the ground and we are hopefully not staying there for the count but we're getting up each and every time perfecting the law of God to the best of our ability and thus in the end we will have changed garments where we have perfected our lives through the love and the mercy and the grace of God and becoming perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So God bless, peace be unto you this day, amen.